Day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, in your time, you took, we don't know how long to make this earth. We understand it in the, in the means that it's written in scripture that in six days in a week, this came into being. And that is astonishing. However you set time and place, you've put each point in time to purpose, to guide all creation, to glorify and honor you. And we are in awe as we look out into the stars, as we look into our own lives. But very poignantly, as we look to Christ, that that moment, his life among us, that short breath of time, everything changed. And we need your help in understanding it. What that change means, what that means for us to do. And not that we're making excuses and ignorance. For we have your word. We can read it more easily than ever before. Yet I don't think we understand it any better than anyone else. So, Lord, as we look to this world, as we look to one another, as we look to our calling, as we discover our purpose in Christ, and as we come into the encounter of Christ at his crucifixion, at his betrayal, by us, help us to find our place humbling as it will certainly be. And in that place, Lord, help us to speak your truth, even if it condemns us. For we are not utterly condemned. So long as we hold to Christ, who is our Savior, who is our Lord. We gather now to look to your word in his name. And we ask for not only the prayers that I have spoken, but the prayers of our hearts to be heard and answered. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we look to the Old Testament book of Exodus, Exodus chapter 12 at verse 3. Speak ye unto all the, ch the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And tonight, my family today, I'm about to right now go and get that lamb cooking because we celebrate the what moved from this moment, which is the institution of Passover, from this moment to Christ's institution of the Lord's Supper. And for for human history, this is a small span of time. The many hundreds of years that it was, a small span of time. And what that sacrament is becoming, because it has been more than 2,000 years since, this, since its institution, what that is becoming for us in this day and age is a means by which reunification of, of church and of life can take place, where we can realize and sit down at our, at our tables together as, as people of faith, as people discovering faith, and there encounter a tangible moment with Christ. Some Christians believe that it's physically the body and blood. Others see things as more symbolic. The truth is, God knows for certain. And we make our best estimate as to how to best praise him in what he called us to do, in the way he said to remember me. And in remembering Christ, we remember God's love and preserving power in what happened with Moses and the people of, of Israel as they left Egypt. We remember God's promise of preservation to kings such as David and Solomon. We remember God's words in the prophets telling us to look forward, to look for the coming of the Lord. And that calling still remains on us today in Christ. That as we love one another, as we care for one another, as we honor Christ with 
many means of praise, but most importantly, the way that we, we love and we welcome and we host one another in grace, that we come to this table together and that we celebrate the presence of the Lord in our lives, that we might be blessed to be that presence for others, that we might go forth bearing our cross, holding forth the word of truth and being a light unto all people. God bless and keep you. Amen.